Live coverage here on CBS Sports HQ. Dana White at the podium. Let's listen in. Let's talk about Kamaru Usman. As you said, just an absolutely amazing performance for him tonight. I don't think anybody saw the fight ending that way. Just what are your thoughts on him? And he's saying, hey, I'm pound for pound number one. I mean, are you looking at him as, as that as well? Yeah, l listen, I, I think we can all agree. No matter how you, how you feel, you know, the, 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 the guy's getting booed in there tonight. He's one of the best ever, and he's on his way to probably being the greatest of all time. I mean, the, the, the guy is an absolute stud. He looks better every time he comes out. You know, these people talk about him being boring. You're an idiot. You're an idiot if you think this guy's boring. He hasn't been in a boring fight in a while. And, uh, you know, he changed after he did that whole I only gave 30% tonight thing. He's been a different, a different human being ever since the RDA fight. Uh, Colby Covington was in the building. Does that seem like the fight to make now? I mean, obviously the history there. It's the fight to make. Yeah, he's the number one guy in the world. And, uh, you know, Usman's thing was I, I didn't I, he didn't want him to be the backup. Um, he's like, I, I want Masvidal, and I don't want to camp, and I'll take him again. And, you know, he's like, I'm going to start lapping these guys. But for him to really cement your legacy, you know, when you go in and you beat the guys who are looked at as the best in the world at that time, and you beat them twice, and you beat them convincingly, you know, it's, it's all just part of cementing that legacy that, that this guy is going to end up having someday. Can you get your thoughts on Rose? Obviously a, an incredible win for her. And then emotional scenes. I mean, Joe Rogan's in there crying. I mean, what, what were your thoughts on just the whole thing? Tonight was special, man. Tonight was a special night um, in so many different ways. Um, you know, monumental for us to be back first. Um, and, uh, yeah. It was just it was a big night, and everybody fought like it was a big night. Yeah. That division strawway is so deep with, with amazing fighters. Do you see a, a clear-cut number one contender for Rose, or is this one that we're going to have to kind of figure out what, what makes sense? Listen, obviously the rematch is, you know, that, that's a fun fight, and I think a lot of people be excited about that fight. But, you know, I don't make fights the night of the fight, but I'm just saying off the top of my head, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Last thing on fights, Valentina, I mean, I think we're running out of superlatives to describe how good she is. I mean, what can you say about Valentina? It's almost like, tell me if this is how you felt tonight when she was fighting, like she was pissed. Like, she was mad that anybody could, because I, I love this fight, because I knew Jessica Andrade was going to show something that she hasn't seen yet, and she was going to be in her face, and she was going to do this, and she was going to do that. And it's like, she was like a fucking demon tonight. Pissed off that anybody believed that that, that that was possible. And she looked incredible. You know, it was one of the one of the best performances of her career. Yeah, it was. And so everybody's saying, look, the only person that she could po that could possibly beat her is Amanda Nunes. But, I mean, they're in different weight classes. I'm just, I'm curious, do you, I mean, is that a, an appealing fight to you? Or do you feel like they should have their own kind of legacy? Yeah, their own legacies. Listen, they fought a couple times, you know, um, you know, people can think whatever they want. There's always somebody else coming up. There's always a new contender. And it's not Valentina's fault that she's, you know, one of the all-time baddest women on this planet. So um, making her move up to 135 pounds just doesn't, doesn't make sense. They did it twice. Yeah. Listen, if they both come to me and they both want to do it and whatever, then, 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 you know, I'll make it happen. But it's not something I'm thinking about. We almost got Daniel Cormier out of retirement tonight to, uh, to fight Jake, Jake Paul. I'm just curious uh, what you thought about that whole spectacle. I mean, the crowd was chanting Jake Paul. They had the, the, the little, you know, con confrontation there. What, what Listen, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This kid's done a good job of putting himself in a place to make some money, man, you know? So good for him. Um, he's got you guys talking about him all the time and asking questions about him and got Daniel Cormier running after him. So he's doing something right. You know, right. he knocked out an NBA guy that was 40 years old and 30 pounds less than him. And, you know, uh, I don't even know what to think about the Askren thing, man. I, I, it's, uh, the whole thing is fucking mind-boggling to me. But, um, hey, good for him. Grab that money while you can, kid. I was going to say, would you ever do business with him? I mean, it sounds weird, but the numbers are there. The numbers are there? Nah, I don't know if the numbers are there. I, I, listen, do you know what, the, what would happen to this guy? He ain't fighting in the UFC. These guys are... You're getting me talking about this fucking guy again. He's getting hand-picked opponents, and God knows what else is going on with that whole fucking thing. I, it, it's all... There is a market for that. That's not what I do. 
that is not what I do. People want to see that, and, and, and you know, people want to see it, and, and it's great, and this kid's going to make a couple bucks before this, this ride is over, and uh, it's just not what I do. What I do is what happened tonight. What happened tonight is we sold this place out, and it was packed, and uh, the numbers that you're hearing that they did are full of shit. They're full of shit, okay? They didn't pull those kind of numbers at all, not even fucking close. And um, tonight, what happened here tonight is what I do. The best versus the best. There is a market for that. People want to see that stuff, and that kid's going to make a couple bucks, and good for him. Blessing. But that's not what I do.